This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Thursday, 23rd February 2023. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. Presidential candidates billed for the 25th February election and their party chairman have signed a peace deal barely three days to the polls. The event which took place at the International Conference Center Abuja had the presidential candidates of APC Bola Tinubu, Labour Party Peter Obi, PDP Atikwa Bubaka, NNPP Rabi Kwankoso and ZLP Dan Wanyawu. This signing is the second and the last to be signed by the candidates to enlist their commitment to a peaceful conduct of the 2023 presidential election. President Muhammadu Buhari in his address reiterated his commitment to allowing the rule of law take its course. He called on those saddled with the responsibility of conducting the election to allow the electorates choose who governs them, appealing to the candidates to accept the outcome of the election and seek legal redress if dissatisfied. The Peace Committee members present include General Abdul Salami Abubakar, Bishop Matthew Kuka, and the Sultan of Sakwato, Alhaji Sahad Abubakar, the Third. Other attendees were the Inspector General of Police Usman Akali Baba and former President of South Africa and held election observer group Thambo Mbeki and INAC Chair Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. President Muhammadu Buhari has presided over the National Council Security Meeting preceding the general elections with an order to security chiefs to ensure Nigerians perform their civic duties without fear of molestations. The police IG on behalf of the security chiefs reassured the nation of the state of preparedness of their officers and men towards ensuring a seamless exercise devoid of security breaches or threats. The Inspector General of Police said all is set for the February 25th and March 11th elections as the force and other agencies have proffered workable strategies in line with the threat analysis carried out across the country in preparations for the exercise. In Lagos, the Independent National Electoral Commission has kicked off the movement of sensitive materials from the central bank to the 20 local governments amidst tight security. Resident Electoral Commissioner Olushe Gwagbaje says the exercise is to ensure proper distribution. The Commissioner of Police, Ido Wawonwa, also assured residents of adequate measures taken on security before, during and after elections. Party agents and international observers were also on ground to monitor the distribution and dispatch of the materials for the February 25, 2023 elections. UN head Antonio Guterres has condemned Russia's invasion of Ukraine as an affront to the world's collective conscience at a meeting of the General Assembly nearly one year on. The meeting was debating a motion backed by Ukraine and its allies demanding Russia pull out immediately and unconditionally. Ukraine hopes that by supporting the motion, countries will show solidarity. The Kremlin has accused the West of wanting to defeat Russia at any cost. Vasily Nebenzia the Kremlin's ambassador to the UN said the US and its allies were preparing to plunge the entire world into war. Russian President Vladimir Putin sent up to 200,000 soldiers into Ukraine on February 24, 2022, in the biggest European invasion since the end of the World War II. And that's it on Newstreet for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Newstreet. Enjoy the rest of the day and stay safe.